Hey, this is Sam Black with my second match with Bant Tokens in Standard. I'm on the draw against a six card hand. Um, my hand is slow but explosive. Um, I think on the draw against six, it's safe-ish to keep this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if I draw lands, then I can potentially save some of these fetches to trigger a retreat. If I draw spells, a good portion of my spells are cheap and they'll let me do something early. So, a lot of good draws. Um, this is my worst land, so I'll leave it at that. Definitely want to save these fetches, and I don't mind playing a tap land this turn. Um, next turn, I'm obviously extremely likely to play Secure the Wastes for two. I mean, if I don't draw anything else to do. If I draw anything else, I'll probably do that, but... So we're looking at secure for two, retreat, and then another retreat and a fetch land, which isn't bad. That's interesting. That's real interesting. Uh, I think I ignore it and just hope that my opponent doesn't miss land drops and I get to use it later. So obviously I'm just ignoring this Gideon for now. Um, historically that hasn't been a huge problem. I can generally let Gideon do something for a while and then just go over it with these big spells in my hand. I'm just going to play another retreat, and then this land gives me four triggers, or not if this gets destroyed first. That wasn't good. I guess this has taken a damage, this might as well try to turn Gideon off of being able to make an emblem, or just trade a 1-1 one -one for a 2-2. Two -two. When I have retreat, my opponent's 2-2s two aren't necessarily better than my 1-1s, one -ones, but um, I think just getting it off the board to buy more time would be worth it, since I have um, a lot of power in my hand still because of this Secure the Waste. is cooperating with this Knight of the White Orchid.
another attacker here. Just silk crap with the token. And then these three kill Gideon. And then I just make another one one. First striker to hold off my opponent's knights. That's a lot of Gideons. Alright, so much for holding off my opponent's knights. Uh, let's just jump block one of these. Um, my opponent's at 18, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, so I can't attack for lethal this turn. Uh, my reasonable lines are either secure the wastes or quarantine field. Um, seems like a good time for secure. the play here is going to be to crack the flooded strand putting plus one one on the stack and respond with a big secure and then this can block one knight ally and I can put two or so warriors on all the other knight allies safe. Just double up everywhere. So my opponent gets to kill two of my guys and loses all of their guys. And then if I draw a land, I think I get to attack for lethal. I suppose if this is a den protector, my opponent can remoke his command and kill a little bit more, but not save anything, I think. Stance. 
for metal work, might not kill the knight. It's fine. Oh. I have nine attackers, eight of them are getting through. Eight times two is sixteen. Say nothing of the quarantine field. Which I guess I might as well cast. So, I think I'm playing against Green White Megamorph. I think I want Planner Outburst. Um, I think Gideon's means probably not a lot of Archangel of Tides. So, I don't necessarily need Valorous Stance. I generally sideboard relatively little in this matchup. Um, it's important to Dramoka's command is there just aren't enough spells to justify the spell. I could theoretically have negate for it since it also counters Gideon. It's not great. I'm gonna be on the draw, so I want this Knight of the White Orchid. Um, what else is not good? Likely Elvish Visionary is just too low impact, but I want to consider my alternatives. Gideon can certainly be weak on the draw. Um, I want to have a Valor stance just in case. Trim a Gideon and a Visionary. Keep my two drops relatively not overwhelming in number. mixed feelings on cards like Evolutionary Leap that can be great, but often the games that I lose in this matchup just involve my opponent getting under me. Um, so we're going to try like this. And I think this hand's pretty good. Silkcraft, but being on the draw, it's nice because it costs my opponent's third turn to deal with my second turn. Alright, that works. Now I can. I think it's worth fetching a planes with this, but it's really close since it means that I have to have a land come into play tap next turn, potentially. Um, my counter is not actually that important. Maybe it's just Prairie Stream Silk Wrap. Yeah, let's do that. It also, if I draw another land, lets me just hold the fetch land for retreat. If I thought that it were more likely that my hanger back wouldn't get exiled, I might take a different line. get this knight under a wrap so that I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can just wrap both of those. Could 
browse it out first, but I think it's better to not do that. Um, I guess I'll play this one. Make a 1-1. One, one. Wrap this 3-3 three, three that can't come back. This 3-3 three, three that I want to exile. Creatures. Can we need a landfall anyway to cast this planner outburst? So I could outburst or I could blooded woodland. I can attack or not attack. Okay. I'm going to attack. Mostly hoping that my opponent blocks with hanger back. Alright, that is exactly what I wanted. Now I just let these things die and then planner outburst and then play land. Yeah, sure, more things on there is fine. No! No! Ugh. Uh, so now I could sack blighted woodland. Kill these two, save this thing, play a land, make another creature. I guess that's fine. Not the way I wanted this to go, but I'll take it. interesting. Hangerbacks are making things pretty annoying for Planner Outburst. So I think the hope is to draw a land, make my guys bigger, attack Gideon, get some blocks, and then Outburst. Didn't happen. Now we're just in a weird situation. Nissa. 
could be an incredible draw. Mesa, if it plus ones and puts another land into play, is a lot of extra landfall triggers. But I'm getting to a point where I'm likely going to have to start jump blocking with these things. Quarantine field saves me. Maybe. All right, well, that was about the best I could do. Die if I plan her outburst, so let's not do that. So now this next one gets to be a combination of more allies and pumps. You have three four fours or four three 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 four three threes basically. There's a chance that if my opponent attacks with hanger backs, I can trade them off and turn on this planner outburst. So if I, yeah, if I only block any three, I die. So I need at least one more. And now I can block, block. Ugh, I can't kill both hanger backs and not die. If I make another one, then I probably still can't. I have five two twos. One, two, three, four. Yeah. No matter what, I can't kill both hanger backs and live. Oh, and I stacked this wrong. Alright, well, the one on will just jump that guy. This loses all my creatures and puts me to two. And I think it's the best I can do. Not good. on that game. Well, I'm going to be on the play, so these are a lot worse. Um, Gideon is better. And I think I want a leap. Oh, there's a 
Revolutionary. Seems about right. It's fine. Pretty sure I want the ally here. Um, could just take it, but I think it's better to jump. I think taking it's pretty bad if my opponent has Dramokus command. Some temptation to attack here. But I'll just. I guess if I emblem. Then. Silk Wrap on Hanger Back is annoying, but otherwise. I'm in pretty good shape. Playing Missa wins the fight. I think I like an emblem here. It's a little scary when that's all I have going on, but I don't think it's bad. Drawing any spell is so much better than drawing a land here. I guess it's not really getting punished, it's all the same. Retreat could potentially still save me. That's not good. Well, that's the retreat. Say that before my opponent had a whisper wood. Now my 
life total is just so low. Walking Dem Death Mist Raptor is not going to be productive against Whisperwood. So I have to just take it, but that's going to cut into all kinds of stuff. And that's the Termokus command. If that's a Death Den Protector, this is not going well. Attack, so I guess I want to hold on to another. That's the card I needed to have the chance here. All right, still in the game, I suppose. annoying. So I basically need my opponent to attack before playing Dramoka's command. of pump my team. Uh, recording. have a very good number of creatures, but this Tremokus command just makes things so difficult since I can't have the retreat to overrun. Might need to draw exactly retreat to just be able to overrun anyway next turn. Alright, this is good. Oh wow. Kinda doing it. So four blocks, we crack this. Then my opponent is probably going to remove his command in response to stop me from getting the trigger. Doesn't. Plus one, one. Do it again. See if this one gets to resolve. Counters this one. Kills that guy. That's fine. three threes and see what happens. So 
So the problem here, obviously, is that Whisperwood is going to make a bunch of manifests, so I don't want to kill the Death Mist, because I don't want it to become a manifest. Um, might as well double up on this in case it's something scary. Uh, I guess I want to force this to happen. And I guess I don't want this to live. If my opponent has another Dramokas command, which almost certainly isn't there, but it's kind of free. All right, so we do this. And now I still have to find a way to actually win. Oh, the Death Mist Raptor died because it was the one that fought. Interesting. Well, I had to block it, so... Can't really feel too bad about that. four blockers, but I might as well snare the death mist. Dead if any of these is a den protector no matter what. Can't really beat things, so I'm just going to attack with two guys. Leave four blockers and expect to lose. Cute. As far as bad things that could happen to me go, that one at least doesn't leave me dead on board. So we're hoping my opponent doesn't have anything, and I draw... Oh, Dragon Lord Dramoko flipped over. Never mind, very dead. Alright, well that's the match. Green-white has been one of my hard ma harder matchups, but... Oh well. <laughs> 